you may have seen this video. I've made a brand new channel. And today I'm gonna find out if YouTube is mostly based on luck or mostly based on skill. And I figured I'd try and recreate it, but I'm actually a new YouTuber. So let me show you what I did. I started out with making this video titled I got a kin to spite Ludwig. And I thought that this was a very good idea because number one, it involves Ludwig's name. Number two, it involves kittens, specifically Ludwig's kitten Coots. My girlfriend and I recently got a kitten. Yes, this one here. And so I figured I'd just tell the story of how we got it and exactly why. Filming and editing total took me about eight hours. Here's the editing. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty intense in my opinion as a new YouTuber. After I made and edited the video, I went ahead and jumped right into making the thumbnail. Now for the thumbnail, I basically, I just wanted Ludwig and I wanted myself and both of our kittens. And then I went to uploading the video. So in the description, I made sure to explain exactly what I did, why I did it. I made sure to put Ludwig's name in there, Coot's name in there, and I made sure to use all the right tags. So now we have to move on to marketing. My first step to marketing this video was posting to Ludwig's subreddit about Ludwig and what Ludwig is doing. And so I thought, okay, like hopefully his fans will enjoy this video, but it got taken down. So <laughs> I guess, uh, I guess they did not enjoy the video. After that, I went on to creating a short form of this video to kind of push it out to TikTok, YouTube shorts, Snapchat, all of the above. I got a kitten to spite Ludwig. It all started when I saw his new kitten, Coots. Now on TikTok, it actually did pretty well. Um, it got about 3000 views and it actually drove a decent amount of traffic to my YouTube, which is not common on TikTok. On YouTube, however, it was a different story. Typically, I'll average about 3K on my YouTube shorts, but this one only got 1.7K, which is great. Um, I mean, that's I'm not complaining at all, but for the purpose of, you know, launching people to the main video, it really didn't do that much. And it also got something like 16 dislikes, so maybe that had an effect as well. Rip. After that, I took some inspiration from Ludwig, who donated to Miskiff when he made his video. Miskiff actually watched it, which was insane marketing, really good idea. I mean, I'm pretty sure the video got thousands of views just because of that donation and, and him watching it. And obviously the video is really, really well done. So I took it upon myself to kind of replicate that. And I went on to Twitch and I found this one girl who was actually watching a Ludwig video on stream and i was like i was freaking out i was like this is the perfect timing like she has to watch my video because it has something to do with ludwig well i was wrong this is what she said mm. that's that's mm. the new heat probably uh, not but the, thank the you so much bar. for the 50 dollar uh, donor thank you more widely i know i know not that good at all <laughs> not that good at all at this point all hope was lost i even considered just driving traffic to my youtube in general just by posting clips of different videos so here I am now sitting at about 82 views and crying in a corner. Insert video of me crying in a corner. On a good note though, literally yesterday, one of my TikTok videos, it went from like 2000 views to today where it's at like 930,000 views, which is insane. And I was, I was so hype about it because I was like, this is it, this is it. Like people are literally going to all travel to my YouTube channel. They'll see the Ludwig video, it's gonna be great. And I don't even think I got one subscriber from that TikTok video. <laughs> so that kind of is a good example of, of how bad TikTok is when it comes to driving traffic to your YouTube channel. Because the thing is, is most of the people don't want to watch a long form. That's why they're on TikTok. Overall, I think the video was pretty decent. I, this was my first time like telling a story and putting these intense like soundtracks on. I thought it was it was it was decent. If you're a new YouTuber, just remember that it takes time and it takes consistency in order to grow a following and get these people to watch your videos. And always, always be open to criticism because that is the only way that you're going to learn. If you don't want criticism from anybody, and you're just ignorant in that way, then you're not gonna get better at all. I wish all of you new YouTubers the best and I really appreciate you watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.